Hey guys, it's Kim Green with Green Street Beauty. Um, this video is going to be twofold. Um, the first part of it is going to—I'm going to show you how to chop hair. The second part of the video is I'm going to use a flocking gun to actually—and let me here, I'll pull this flocking gun in. I'm going to show you how to use a flocking gun to create a uh, beard, a realistic-looking beard, and I'm going to actually do it on Melissa Street. Since there's no boys here, uh, my husband ran away. Um, I'm going to do a beard on Melissa. So get ready. Okay, but let's educate you first on um, hair. So this is, um, this actually is yak hair. It's actually a combination of yak hair and real hair, this particular swatch here. And it's been crimped, as you can see. So when you go to chop hair, here's a great little trick. It's wrapped up in this little white towel. And so basically what you're gonna do is get rid of those little ends. And you're gonna chop See how I'm doing this where I'm just taking like that big and cutting it. And I'm going to keep cutting it like that, about that size. Now as soon as like I've run out of hair, all you got to do is pull up like that. And it pops back out again. And keep going, okay? That's how you chop hair. That's how you get, your, that's how you get started. Now this hair is also a combination of like maybe three different browns that equal a medium brown because the more diverse your colors are, the more realistic it looks. If it was all one tone, it would probably look a little bit um, not so great. There's a long hair, just get rid of that. And again, keep going with the hair, choppy choppy. Okay, once you get that, you just keep going like that. And you can see here, this is what you have. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it into like a little bowl like this. It's not quite as chopped up as I want it to be. And the next thing, and you, you, you can put quite a bit in there. Don't, you know, do more than that. Then take, you can use a peanut, or you can use one of these kind of razors, and you're just gonna go in there and chop down. And chop it up. Now, when you use a flocking gun, you can't use hairs that are like this long. Okay, you can't do that. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work. You have to go this small or smaller. You don't want to like grind it up to the point where it's pulp. Um, Melissa's right here, so we keep looking at. But you want it to be, you know, I wish you could see it better, but let's see if you can see it. Mm -hmm. The little hairs so that it looks like um, maybe like a two or three day growth, that kind of length. Maybe there are three day growth for sure. Because if you really just need, you know, a one-day stubble, you'll just do that with hot, you know, with um, color. And I can show you that in another video. So here's some, what I suggest is chopping some hair in advance and having it in your kit. So that anytime you have to do, you know, a little bit of a beard, you have all your colors at the ready. This is light red brown. I have um, a dark brown, all pre-chopped. What are the colors? I got black. Auburn, uh, you'll have a, uh, always have sort of a light brown mixture, kind of a salt and pepper for an older uh, gentleman. And uh, same kind of thing, this is a salt and pepper with more black. So if you have yourself a nice variety pack of chopped hair in advance, that'll save you some time if you need something on the day. Okay, so the second half is gonna be me applying, um, second half is gonna be me applying a beard on Melissa Street. Okay, so part two of flocking a beard, um, of which I'm gonna do on Melissa Street. Okay, so this is a flocking gun. <laughs> this is the gun part of the flocking gun. It has this right here, you go, you push it up, and then when you press the button, the light goes on. Here, don't hold that. Oh. Um, this, is the, this is what grounds or takes the electrical current from the machine to the person that you're working on. So you have the person hold this. And what I always say is, yes, you can get a slight, like, zip. It feels like when you're on a carpet and you rub your feet it can, and the carpet can zap you. That can happen. It doesn't always happen, but it can happen. And you should warn people in advance so they don't panic. Um, this, is the, this is where you put the hair in here. Um, in here, and then and I'll show you how to do that. But I'm gonna go through the rest of the equipment first. So this is the actual box, and it has um, 40, 50, 60, and 70 on here, right? Start at your lowest, 
Um, if you want a beard, when it comes out, it won't come out as fast, the hair, so you can get like sort of a lighter application. If you go up to a 50, you're going to get a heavier. Um, I would never go to a 70 because you're going to zap yourself and you're going to zap the person in the chair. Um, 60, I have gone that high, and it also depends on your electricity in either the hat where you're shooting, uh, excuse me, where you're doing the makeup, or if you're in a trailer, because you'll get different electricity, mm -hmm. amounts of electricity, so you might have to kick it up a little bit, but it's always best to start at 40 at the lowest one and build up from there. You're not going to hurt yourself, it's fine, it's really, it's not a big deal. But, okay, so here's your chopped hair, and you can take your chopped hair and you just put it right into the container. So I'm going to go ahead. If you put less hair in here, less hair, you know, it doesn't come out as fast, and again, you can have a lighter application. You can also put quite a bit of hair in there, and we'll see what happens. Okay? So just put all your hair in there. Then, put the top show? Top. Here it is. This is the little top, and see how the hair is going to fly through here, which gives it that even disbursement, because it's all little holes. I found that uh, Prosade is the best adhesive for this application. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and put it on Melissa. I'm not going to put it, at, I'm not going to fill her entire face. I'm only going to do it in small sections, okay? It's just easier to control. And I'm going to turn, turn it on and I'm going to press the button. Now, I'm going to put this in the direction of her face and close her eyes, make sure they close her eyes. You can also, I'm gonna do this, gonna make it easier so that you don't get any hair in her ear. This is doing nothing. See how it's just doing absolutely nothing? You have to actually tap on the machine. Now the hair is getting, as you can see, all over the rest of her face, but don't worry, there's no glue there, so it'll just brush right off. Okay, you can look straight and kind of just move. <laughs> wow, it does look really real. Oh my gosh. Turn like that the other way too so they can see the dimension. See that? How it's sticking out of the face? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> now it's going to go on your mouth a little bit, but we can. Mm -hmm. That's good. biggest problem when I've, I've told people how to do it like on the phone <laughs> how to do think how to do this and the biggest mistake was like it didn't work it didn't work I think the biggest mistake is that they just turned it on and went like that mm, and they thought it was gonna blow yeah you have to press this button wait the light goes on and then you have to press Good to hit. to do um, if you want to make it look like it's more days mm -hmm. I would use a darker hair mm -hmm. I would go yeah. ahead I mixed in like this particular hair is a light brown into a medium brown mm -hmm. and I would go ahead and just use a mm -hmm. little one shade darker Okay, so um, after you're done, make sure and tell your actor um, or performer not to press down on it because Prosade is a glue that isn't completely dry. So if you press this into the skin, if they go like that, it's going to be pressed down. And that may inevitably happen throughout a day. You know, that's part of the nature of the beast and you might have to do redo pieces of it or parts um, of it, but it's a great trick. And I think that looks really, really real. Make sure eyebrows are You have two perfect of eyebrows. <laughs> That's because I'm a girl. I 
on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're really getting into character.